On screen, sir. Come. You still remember, Admiral. I cannot help but be touched. I, of course, remember you. What is the meaning of this attack? Where is the crew of the Reliant? Surely I have made my meaning plain. I mean to avenge myself upon you, Admiral. I deprived your ship of power, and when I swing around, I mean to deprive you of your life. But I wanted you to know first who it was who had beaten you. Come. If it's me you want, I'll have myself beamed aboard. Spare my crew. I make you a counter-proposal. I'll agree to your terms if, if, in addition to yourself, you hand over to me all data and material regarding the project called... Cordoba. Cordoba? What's that? Don't insult my intelligence, Kirk. Give me some time to recall the data on our computers. I give you 60 seconds, Admiral. Clear the bridge. Charge up, sir. Admiral. We're finding it. Admiral. Please. Please, you've got to give us time. The, the bridge is smashed. The computer's inoperative. Time is a luxury you don't have, Admiral. Admiral, it's coming through now, Cop. Cobb, how do we know you'll keep your word? Oh, I've given you no word to keep, Admiral. In my judgment, you simply have no alternative. I see your point. Stand by to receive our transmission. Time's up. Here it comes. Now, Mr. Spock. I know my own needs. And what I need from an automobile, I know I get from this new Cordoba. I could ask for nothing beyond the quality of Cordoba's workmanship, the tastefulness of its appearance. I request nothing beyond the thickly cushioned luxury of seats available even in soft Corinthian leather. Yet it is on the highway where Cordoba best answers my demands. I have much more in this small Chrysler than great comfort at a most pleasant price. I have great confidence, for which there can be no price. In Cordoba, I have what I need. <laughs> 